working on a few chores today. It's a beautiful Saturday. You see, we've been out in the woods. You already see all of the seed pods on Musa right there. Then we got Shaka all tied up right there. We got Bernice in effect. But let me show you some things that's been going on uh, on the homestead. So, got up this morning. I got to sleep in a little bit later, which is a blessing. Lord have mercy, it's a blessing. And as you can see, we have some smoke going on. Planted quite a few trees today. Going to take you on a tour today. Hopefully y'all enjoy this tour. So fall is definitely settling in. We're going to be burning all of this. All of this, going, this underbrush, we're going to burn all of that. We're gonna get this all nice and clear over the now if y'all remember we had the chicken coop right here and a lot of stuff been growing watermelons tomatoes look at this all kinds of stuff from the seeds where sean and chickens used to be we still got tomatoes growing up in here we had watermelons we had cucumbers we had a variety of different things growing from the seed that they were eating and i decided to put a peach tree right here we got 75% off on probably about eight, maybe eight trees. And I've just been kind of plugging them away. Kind of put them here and there, a little bit everywhere. So I'm curious to see, I got to water it in to see what happens as far as the growth. And y'all see the smoke? I know y'all see the smoke, see the smoke? You already know what time it is. Fall time, I, Winter and fall, I take advantage, especially fall, of burning. Burning underbrush. You see this here? In order to get it looking nice and clean like that, from looking like that right there, I burn. So that's what we're doing right there. We're burning. This area right here, you can see through the trees. Got the burn going on. Bam. Uh, the fire kind of got away from me. I did not want it to cross this road. So everybody ran out. I mean, I was I was like, fire, fire, fire. Everybody ran out. And so we got this contained. I'm still glad when I get Annabelle here, I got a fire break that goes all the way around here, all the way around there. One thing that I would encourage you to do is create little road systems and trailways so you can have fire breaks. So if you need to burn a certain section, you can burn it. And then you don't have to worry about it getting out of hand. You still got to monitor it. You still got to look. But look, look how clean that looks. I can see all the way through this. This is what Gigi is looking for. She's not looking for Let me show you in comparison. This is, this is what it looked like prior right here, right? You really can't see, can't see anything and now look through here you can kind of see right around here all through here you can see right around here that burn just taking care of all of that so we can kind of look between the trees and it gives us nice aesthetics so we can kind of see around the area do plan to burn more of this section here once i get annabelle i'm going to finish gg's way gg's way is here it winds around there and it goes back into the woods and then it comes back around. The goal is once Annabelle comes, which will happen hopefully within the next couple of weeks because I did get a call. We've been waiting on parts. When you do buy foreign equipment, understand it takes some time to get parts. So consider that, consider that. I don't know if y'all pay attention. I have not been taking care of some trees and this persimmon is one. Got a persimmon right here. It's growing. Gonna have to water this in. Put in a little work. Try to get that going. Never grow persimmon before. We have some wild persimmon all over the property. And planted this beautiful apple tree right here. And this is a red delicious apple so we planted this here today once again the trees look a little sick but they okay i got them on discount i'm gonna bring them back to life i'm gonna bring them back to life uh, let's see we got a fig there just recently planted this fig here 
and this is a celestial fig and let's see I know I planted some other stuff over here I planted a citrus somewhere oh bam had to think for a minute I gotta water it in we had another citrus right here so we got a red lime right here got the Paul Pam 3.0 or 2.0 I should say Pam 2.0 is still holding fruit Still holding palmetto. Got one right here. So we're gonna sit and watch. Orange tree still surviving. Banana trees, the cold hit the bananas. This is a dwarf banana. Cold hit it and it's going into dormancy. But we still got new shoots. Can't wait to kind of get some of those new shoots out there. Got a few citrus over there too as well. Let's go back to what I planted today. Okay, got some more additional apples. So we planted peach tree, apples, basically what we planted today. I got another apple tree here. And let's see if y'all can see. Ambrosia, 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 apple right here. Planted this one here. And got my variegated lime there. Got some lime there as well. And over here, the other apple. Apple tree here. This is the pink lady apple tree we planted right here. Got to water this in. And another final apple right here. A pink lady as well got a pink lady there as well so eventually this will be the garden this is where the rv used to sit i'm gonna till this up get me a tiller till this up put in in ground garden in here got to clean up all around here i'll pick up a lot of stuff and yeah and look at the volunteer watermelons they still growing y'all we are in November and we still growing watermelons. Y'all see that? Still got watermelon growing on. Look over there. Still got a watermelon even over there. Yep. So peppers are still trying to put out. We've been working a lot. Haven't been able to take care of a lot of stuff as far as watering. It's been dry. When I tell you it's been dry, it's been very arid. We have not had a lot of um rain we haven't had rain in well over a month right now and so we're coping with that but i want to show you some things that i've been working on on the homestead just putting things in the ground growing and i've been trying to water get everything water get everything right and we will be burning more and more i would love to get this burnt right here this section here burnt out like i said when annabelle comes i'm gonna cut through my road have the road come all the way around there i got a road go all the way wrap around there i'm gonna set this on fire and then that way i have my burn break and we can get that a little bit cleared out so we can see a little bit more get all these cut up get these trees cut up this is where i encountered my concussion that is the tree that one up there that's the tree where a branch broke off on there and it hit me in the top of my head so i have not been messing with none of this stuff here lately i've given myself a break and now the weather is cooling down and it's time to get back on it it's time to get back on track it's time to get going and what's going to be nice is this trail is going to be burnt and cleared off and we'll be able to distinctly see through there. And when I get Annabelle back, I get my bush haul back so I can do a lot of cutting. And yeah, so we're burning today. We're planting and I'm fixing to go ahead and get some things on the stove 
and get some things cooking. Make sure you wrap up your pipes. Uh, some of you all viewing this have already encountered um, freeze for y'all southern people in the southern region. Go ahead and take these beautiful days today and start preparing for the winter. Uh, start making sure you have your plants together and all your tropicals. Make sure you secure them in a good place, a place that they can be protected. And don't pull your citrus now. Look at that. Look at the beauty. All of these are less than a year old. Only been here on this property a little bit over a year. It's less than a year old. It's producing. I'm not, I don't expect fruit for none of my plants right now this first year, especially the citrus. It takes a while, normally five to six years. But here we have the Ray Ruby grapefruit. And we got a few. I'm hoping they're going to harvest. They already turning yellow, which is a good thing. And we're just going to see what happens. We're going to see what manifests. We're going to see what produces. Uh, I have my collards right here. They're growing still. Got celery growing, collards growing. And look, y'all. Got the collars, the seeds, the seeds are coming up. They busting through. Off of that, you remember we had the burn pile. I've been getting all that biochar on uh, sand and dirt and just harvesting all of that. And we're getting to the part where we just about ready to start using that soil. And this is the first time I'm using this soil. I'm excited. And yeah, more to come. Y'all stay tuned, continue to stay blessed, and keep on growing.